it has been an uptrend for some time so that you're sure the market is exhausted and if we look at the dashboard which is over here we would see things more clearly uh, we can see uh, the settings are pretty clear in this video i'm going to show you a bot that i built with uh, ai deep seek ai this bot helps me trade on binance which is the most popular exchange out there uh, i'm going to show you how the bot works in the eventual goal i would like this bot to be enhanced by caffeine ai which is like the most powerful ai that is coming up very soon we know it's not yet ready but this bot which uh would be an agent at that time so it would be making decisions making independent decisions to trade for me by itself for now it's just a static bot that i set all everything in advance which is gonna change when we have the real caffeine ai right away i'll show you how this bot works and it's pretty straightforward uh first the bot is built with python and we gave all the instructions to the ai dipstick ai and also we use a uh, Broke AI on Twitter to just combining both AI to work with this bot. Uh, we give all the instructions as per the trade, what we want exactly. Uh, looking at the back end right here, we can see uh, all the variables that I set over here. We see uh, it's pretty straightforward, like it's a shorting bot that is it sells the market and then buys it at a lower price so uh, what 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 i did was i made sure that there's so many candles uh, so many green candles before the bot decides whether to short the market so here i said five and i can of course change it to any number that i want five sometimes i could change to six if the market is like pumping a lot so five for now and then i would set the last candle percentage uh this is just to make sure you're not shorting the market too early so uh there's like when 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 you find when the bot finds five candles the last candle should have a specific percentage before it can short market and here set at three so the last candle must have moved three percent up before the bot shuts it this is just to improve or make it more possible for the bot to be right in the short trade and of course we have a stop loss uh stop loss and then take profit just to make sure if it's going wrong if it's going wrong which is set over here if the market goes against the bot then it stops you out so you don't lose your money if it goes right if it goes right it sells you out or it buys you out so you you, you take the profit and then prepare for the next trade and also what we did was we made sure to avoid in order to avoid over trading in order to avoid over trading we set the bot to trade only once per day so after the bot must have exited a position it doesn't matter if it's in a uh, profit or in a loss the bot should wait for 24 hours before it evaluates before it evaluates the next trade and so i'm going to start the bot and show you how it's working there is a dashboard like there's a front end showing everything maybe more clearer um if we start the bot over here and check the logging
we would see that the board is starting to run and then starting evaluations and so you would see it's evaluating btc last five candles are not all green so this is the first rule to check that there are five candles and they should be green if they're not green it moves on to the next um, pair on binance and to the next pair and then evaluates all the pairs to find the right pair to trade at that time and so the other rules which i don't want to go into but these are the first rules and then there's more rules counting the number of candles and making sure uh, it's like it's an uptrend it has been an uptrend for some time so that you're sure the market is exhausted and if we look at the dashboard which is over here we would see things more clearly uh, we can see uh, the settings are pretty clear positions if the bot is in position it would show over here if uh, we want to check the trade history over here and if we want to set like improve those settings like those var variables that i showed you we can also do that from the front we don't need to have this front end but it's just nicer to have it just nicer and and more friendly to have it so you can set things over here as well and also an important part of this bot is it checks the market insight which is uh, what i talked about earlier we want to make sure at some point this bot is like an agent is operating by itself and making all these decisions by itself looking at the market uh, the 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 cpi what the fed is saying and if there's more money in circulation or whatever to make the right decisions and we're gonna do that with caffeine ai on icp so here we have the market insights and here we just have uh information about uh some other coins what's going on we have stretch bollinger bands uh overbought rsi if if uh, there's uh, a pay that has been over overbought it will show the percentage here oversold it will show here will orders so we just know what is going on in the market who is selling who is buying and how much power also we look at 24 hour btc volume uh if the volume is rising or falling and we look at open interest over here if it's rising or falling this can and of course the btc price here this can help us make a better decision about which which side of the market to trade and 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 based on everything based on everything here and this is just for manual trading but the bot uh decisions are already set but later on we'll make sure these decisions can influence the bot to make trading um make trading uh entries or exit based on decisions and that at that point it would be operating more independently for now the bot is it's working but it's being watched a lot uh have to see what is going on should i stop it should i start it and 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 things like that and it's running on my pc and it's not on a server yet so we're looking forward to using this bot on icp so it will run on icp network uh, and i don't have to start the computer to use this bot and and that's it uh that is our bot uh which eventually you would call it an agent an ai agent that is going to trade um independently without a lot of interference and that would come up of course later on once we have the real caffeine ai okay thank you for watching i hope this video you learned something from it if you need help setting up your own bot, just let me know. We'll talk about it. See you again in another slice.